learn how to set up an MLS portal for your clients. Okay. So what are you guys wanting to do? You wanting to do a search and then set your client up on that search so that they can receive the auto emails. Okay. So the basic, the first thing you're going to do in your, your menu up here may be a little different than mine. So you could click on your menu and then you're given a whole bunch of things that you can do. If you star them, then they'll come up on this bar up here. And so I've got certain things starred so that I can do quick searches and things like that. So basically I'm going to do a quick search and depending on where you're wanting to do it, you can do a whole host of different things. You can do, so we're in rental right now and I'm going to switch that and I'm just going to go to residential. And I want to look at what's active on the market. I don't want to see anything that's under contract or you may want to see contingents because you may want still want to show your clients the contingents ones. So you would shift and click on those. And then a list price, you're going to show your maximum. So let's say we're looking at houses that are up to 500,000. And since we're recording, since we're recording, I'm just going to kind of keep yeah, going just, if just you go, guys just want to watch. Yeah. Thank you for that. So single family detached, if you're looking for a patio home, townhouse or an apartment style condo, you would click those as well but I'm just kind of looking for a single family. I don't want any houses that are attached at all. I want them all to be detached. And then I'm gonna to go to city. So I'm gonna actually type in Scottsdale because the you can either stay, keep your search really broad at first or you can kind of narrow it down. But the more information you give, so if you know your client wants to be in 85255 or 85260, you can go ahead and put your zip codes in too and it'll even narrow you further. So I don't know why it is pulling me into. So you can add almost like if, if somebody's looking for a very broad area, I can just add all the zip codes and that's probably the best way to do it. You could do a, a map search. So if you look at this real quick, you're going to see what I'm going to get ready to do. So I narrowed my search down to city and to a couple zip codes. I could go down here to this map feature and draw. So you can do one that you draw kind of your own shape or I can do a square. So if I said, I, if I knew that my clients wanted to be in the DC ranch area, I could start drawing this area and I can edit that shape. I don't know why it's doing this all of a sudden, the map is going nuts on me. And it's taking me to Ecuador. How funny is that? That's crazy. Okay. No clue of why it all of a sudden took me to Ecuador, but we're going to go back over here and see if I can't zoom into my shape. Okay, here we go. So if you notice now, then I did a shape right there. So right now I've got a shape and it's showing me I've got three results for residential under the price of 500,000. I did not do bedroom bathroom size or anything else. And then I want to send those to my client and set up a search. So you've got to save this search first. So we're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna say single family under 500,000, 85255. And you can put a description further in there. And so right now it's asking you, it's not connected to a contact, so I could just save the search and just have it, or I can connect it to a new contact or an existing one. So if I wanna put it to an existing person that's already in my contact, so I would start and find them in here so we're gonna choose myself and then you save and add subscription. So subscription is what's going to send them emails. And so when you hit send and do the subscription, 
single family under 500,000, it automatically defaults and does every day. I don't necessarily want all the new properties every day to go them because they may feel bombarded unless they're like eagerly wanting to get into a house and we're losing out on things and you may want to have it go every day. So if it goes every day or you would click on, you could clear the days out and click on what, you, what days you wanted it to send. Like I have friends that are set up on searches right now that they only want to see them every Friday. So they want to see everything that comes on the market. But if I was going to do this every day, or here's a fun little button that says ASAP. ASAP means the second it hits the market, your clients are going to get an email. So sometimes that works if they're really hot for a property and they're trying to find an area. So if I put ASAP, I can put a subject in there, new properties on the market. And then I'm gonna type them an email and this email is going to go to them every time the subscription runs. So you wanna make it generic so that they understand, please click the link attached to view new properties on the market in 85255. And then I'm just gonna hit save. So at this point now it's asking you, do you wanna email these listings now to the client? Do you wanna choose certain ones to send or do you not wanna show these ones? If you've already sent these to them, you may just click on do not send these listings and it'll just start the, the new search. So anytime anything new comes on, it will send the new ones. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and send these now. And you type them a little email and you can just set it and then now it says the link has already been sent. Now going forward, because I checked ASAP, anytime a new listing hits the market that's in that criteria I chose, it will automatically send them an email. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.